So some time ago, popular Yugi tuber Simo started something called Master Duel Masochist, a challenge series in which a brand new account builds a deck out of five master packs, and with every win, you gain a new one as well as any bonus legacy packs to improve it. So we watched it and thought, this looks fun, let's give it a shot. What's up guys, Toaster Corky Gaming here, back with Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Now, if you did catch the last episode of our Master Duel Masochist series here, you'll know we did what some could only dream of. We beat Cash Tira. And I think for that, we deserve some. We are gonna upgrade. Not the deck. We're gonna upgrade our appearance. Where, where's a good duel mate? Let's go with good old laundry. Huh. Didn't know she said stuff. Let's go silver. Because that's where we're aiming for. That's where we left off. Icon. Oh, Pirelli? No. Melfi Rabby. The deck here, same as last video. We didn't make any changes from that pack we got, which was just, just straight up awful. But I guess we could throw in maybe Ib, the World Chalice Priestess. But let's get into the duels. Okay, not a terrible hand, could be better. Oh, watch out, it's him. Watch out for him, folks. He's got a hand trap. And we'll stick with these two. Because you're safe from battle, and you won't be needed. Or you'll get stronger with every time they activate a spell card. I feel like I should have summoned her in defense mode. Yeah, I should do that. I should do that more often. And she's a good level 4. Beast Warrior. Now what is him gonna do? What's a, what's a him I gonna do? So we got our dragon maid. To help clean up the mess, that will be our body. I thought that was... Hmm, UA. Interesting. Now they're gonna return it to the hand. Special summon Mighty Slugger. If this card attacks, your opponent can activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Okay, that's not good. But our Sword Soul can stop him. Is strong enough. We didn't put in Death Volt's Scrap, I just realized. So now we're totally safe from destruction. We'll still take the damage, but... We can take out their mighty slugger on the next turn. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. Now I know why UA was hated so much. Now wait a minute, they said they were about to end their main phase. I'm gonna have to go back. I mean, I liked F.A. more than U.A.
Now, should we also do, while we're here waiting, should we do other stuff like the... Because there are ways we can get cards that could help us, like, since we edited our profile, we actually now have access to Swords of Revealing Light. But, I don't think it would be fair to use that. And of course they have Mac Knight Blue Sky. Because why not? Is blue, blue, blue? Yeah, I don't think we win this. Gonna make a quick change and be right back. Uh oh, we did change by switching out our Whatever that level 8 dragon we had that nukes our field, we switched that out with, um, Death Volt's Graph. Hmm, that would have been an interesting play. But that doesn't work if they have normal monsters, like if they're playing a Blue Eyes, which... Six deck cards extra deck? They might be. Hmm. Sacred Beasts may be a problem. Why they have such few in the extra deck, I'll never know. Hmm. What are you up to? Right. Yeah, if it's Sprite, we don't win. Hmm. Okay, not the best hand, but not the worst. We have Angel 07, we just gotta get it out onto the field. A 400 attack difference is not terrible. Oh, Jack in the hand, what is this for? Could be Ghost Trick? Could be something else. We don't know. Drytrons! That's probably the worst things it could have been. We really need a way to turbo out Angel 07. Like, that would be the pipe dream, but highly unlikely. You must also tribute. Not can also, must issue. Tribute, issue? You must issue. But because of these attack points, Cyber Angel Benton. Now, if they changed it to where it was only Drytron monsters, then maybe Ben 10 and Eda 10 wouldn't be in such hot water. But they don't think about that when they make the cards. So he's got Medionis. Now they're going to go for Diviner of the Herald. I was so glad not seeing this deck for so long. I was so glad. They haven't summoned yet. This can also summon from the graveyard. That's what I also have a problem with. 
you can ritual summon stuff from your graveyard. Personally, I feel this deck is not good because it's overloaded. We just need him to disconnect. That's all we need him to do. It's like, sorry, you're playing Drytron. You're being a jerk. Look, I feel like playing Drytron literally could qualify you as being a meta slave, but... Yep, and there's the other reason why nobody likes this archetype. Herald of Ultimateness. No erratas because of the archetype, but Konami doesn't notice anything. Unless the top 30, 16 to 32 people are running Zodiacs. Yeah, this is taking too long. You're not cool, buddy. You're no fun. Okay, not a bad hand. We've got our wall. Hmm. We don't really have any other gadgets yet. There's a chance we could get them. It's very, very low, but there's always a chance. We need to remember that. We always need to remember that. A Master Duel, Masochist Mode. Oh, Scrap Recycler. The Tricky. 11 card extra deck. What are they playing at? Sorry, there's a wall there. I love this little derpy robot. I lo I've loved this card so much over the years. You discard this card. Okay. I think the issue in the past is that with Vernasylph on the Thawing Mounds, we activated it in a previous episode with discarding Brow, but the issue was because of Vernasylph's contingency effect, saying we couldn't activate other monster effects. That may have been the problem. Now, we could go over it with King of Feral Imps, but that does add the problem. Altergeist, Immultife, and, and, and... Are you a masochist? Look at me, Ma! I'm on YouTube! <laughs> Wait, what are you up to? Lightning Warrior? Yeah, where's the Lightning Synchron? Pacifist? I'm sorry, buddy. You've lost me. <laughs> if we can draw the Queen... Then we have a chance. That also... <gasps> Synergy! Sorry about that, or that god-awful sand I just made. Activate this. Discard red gadget. Ah! Ha -ha. Ah! But, since that effect was negated... That means we can activate this and discard Brow. And we haven't normal summoned yet either. That this is actually a really good field spell to have in a masochist deck. Wait. Oh man. So we don't get the draw effect either? Now, who on you? That's no fun. You're no you're not nice. But they got a good board. Like the tricky? Not terrible. And Serap. Wow, Biomage. I had that when I was young. I had that card physically. No. Discard that, and since it's no longer my previous turn, this effect should go off. But that's also destroyed. Okay. 
Okay, so does brown not work at all? Discard one card. Um, we discarded the card. Alright, so brown was trash. Okay, so apparently, discarding for cost is not... doesn't count somehow. I'm not sure how that makes any logical sense. Because he's still discarded. It doesn't matter, it shouldn't matter at all worth if it's being... Because see, if I activated this, if I used it with Fable Ganashia and it's still... Because see, if I use it, like, the fabled Cerberell, if I use it, its effect, if I discard it to activate a card effect, it would still go off. But, Brow Huntsman of Dark World doesn't? That's what I have a problem with. So, yeah, you, you are just dog shit dog water. Forgive my mouth, but that is just trash. We'll throw an Arc Brave Dragon. If we get Gabib. If we get Gabib... Debib, then we may be able to use its effect. It's gonna have no attack or defense points, but at least we'll be able to use its effect. Because we don't really have anything other than Gleef for reliable back row removal, other than Gungnir, but Gungnir requires extra steps. So, Brow, not good. At all. Because if we can't just use its effect as its effect is intended, then that's just not a good card at all to have. We'll discard the Pendulum because we don't need it. I'm not even certain that was a Masochist deck. I'm happy we found them. We fought one. Because that's what I want to see. More masochists. And they had a really good field spell. Pacifist. Like, it sucks fighting the pure deck of um, Phantasm Spiral. Because that is just... I don't know why that was made into an archetype. And why it's so powerful. But that field spell. Anytime you get a 2,000 attack and defense token. That is nuts. Like, that would be cool to have. Aside from the other spells and traps we got, and it also counts as Yumi, so if you get Sea Stealth Attack or anything for the Yumi control, which was weird that they got that. Which, fun fact, the uh, Legendary Duelist of the Deep set... Oh, Piercing the Darkness, this was a this was a favorite of mine. I ran this in my mag my real-life magic keys, and it, it was powerful. Okay, are you a masochist? I'll activate this effect just to do a little bit of damage. Ah, cheeky! Let's activate it now and get it out of the way. Okay, or not. We can't really summon that. If we got Piercing the Darkness, I would run more normal monsters. Actually, that would be really good in Gemini decks. I never thought about that till now. That would be good in Geminis. Because they count as normal monsters, and then you gotta summon them again. Though, if you special summon them again to get their effects as effect monsters, would they lose the benefit of protection? Because I run this in Magic Keys, because it is perfect for them. Because they all run off of that one monster. I think you're a masochist. 
Though you got Electromagnetic Turtle. Good job for you. Like, that, that's actually a stellar card to pull. Like, I'm jealous. Two masochists in a row, and I'm jealous of what they got. No. We do have some Paleozoics. We could pull Cat Shark if we're lucky, or get Cat Shark out. Oh, I should have gone with Credit Plant. Hmm. This would this would have been Moray. Nepenthus. I'm trying not to say penis, but I do like. If we can get another Predator Plant monster and another a way to fusion summon, we could actually use the card we got on day one. Yeah, watch they pull a Mirror Force or something. I'm gonna laugh. If they pull Gores, I'm up. I'm gonna applaud because that's cool for Mahama the Fairy Dragon because I like those. Kind of want to see if you could use them as a synchro strategy. Gore's the Emissary of Darkness is literal mainstay. Not mainstay. Um. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Because that can only be used once per duel. So we can actually target that and get this into the grave. That way, when we activate a trap in the future, like if we get Divine Wrath, we can actually activate this and maybe go into Cat Shark. And maybe, just maybe, if we can get our King of Feral Imps on the field, we can actually 4K Beat Stick. Like, go full Unga Bunga mode. Just me got Beat Stick, me hit you. That sort of deal. That's the dream. Like, I'm sorry, if I can do that with Melfi's and jo have Joyce Melfi OTK you by hitting you twice for 4,000 apiece, that's pretty dumb, but hilarious. You went to battle phase? What are you planning, sir? What are you playing at? This is what I want to see. I like seeing the masochists, because they will keep you on your toes, because you don't know what to expect. They're wild cards. I want to see if they can pull something off with that, uh, with the Piercing the Darkness, because this is a really strong card if you can get it to work. Like, if we actually pulled this card, I would throw in more rank normal monsters. Hey, trap card, baby! Do you have something for us? Eternal Soul. That's problematic. If we can draw Gleef, it's game over. Oh, that's a problem, because Piercing the Darkness protects it. So now we just need a way to get to Gleef faster. Wait a minute. This may work. This may work. We can add a reptile from our deck to our hand. Now true, we did summon.
This will help us get to Glee for all the more faster. Yeah, let's use the effect now so we can actually get some more life points. We just gotta destroy Eternal Soul. That's all we gotta do. That's the plan. That's also a problem, piercing the darkness as well. But we just gotta get rid of that card. Unfortunately, they do have the set Lost Wind. Well, not anymore. It's banished now. Thank you for giving us another tra another monster. So they have dark magic attack. Well, there goes our back row. They probably planned for that. But... And with the effect of piercing the dark... See, that was their problem. They shouldn't have activated that, because with piercing the darkness, it gives them an attack boost. So if they wanted to do more damage, they shouldn't have activated Lost Wind. Got some lucky pulls if they're a masochist, but that can only work on level four lower dragons. Your attack is still hat, huh? Hmm, we don't have any world chalice monsters. There's a special summon from the graveyard. We can banish as many, but Eternal Soul leaves the field, so... And their lost wind is in the grave. We can't destroy it, but there's a chance. We can't attack either. they're a masochist. Well, yeah, that or they're a masochist with more rules and there are less restrictions, or they got a lot of good luck. Is ultra rare, SR, SR, that's a rare when it shouldn't. Normal. Well, they can't play a thousand knives.
All we need them to do is somehow resurrect it. Yeah, they definitely are not a masochist because they've got way too much Dark Magician support. This shouldn't even exist if the other two don't. Because that's not really fair to the other two. With what they've got, they are not a masochist. I just need Gleef the Phantom Bird. That's not Gleef, but... Nah, well. Who on them? No, we can check if they're a masochist or not. Yeah, it's like matchmaking it matchmaking is weird in this. They see rank, but they don't That's not what I want at all. It's like they can't say how well your deck works. Yeah, they're not a masochist at all. They're running full blown dark magician. With a random Marmite and Captain, an electromagnetic turtle. It's not a structured deck, because it's a 60 card deck. So, poo on them for being a no fun meta slave. Okay, not the best hand in the world, but could have been a lot better. I should have checked that other, the player before the Dark Magician loser. Should have checked their deck too, because they pulled out Lightning Warrior. How many people are going to pull that out? And that's a warrior. That's a Sword Soul. Wait, nope. It's like, if you're going to disconnect, disconnect. Just please. Save me of dealing with your sins, and just disconnect yourself. Let's actually check that previous duelist. Again, I don't care for profile. Why should we care about their profile? Oh, they got Sea Koala! Scrap Recycler, that would be useful. Dite, Morphing Jar number two. Bright Star Dragon. This looks like a Yusei card. Ally of Je Yeah, they're definitely a Oh, they got Rafale! You lucky duck! I would love... Oh, Six Samurai Zanji. I would love to have some of these cards you pulled. Evil Hero, Elemental Hero, El Shadal. Transcendosaurus. That would be really good if you could summon that. Shark Drake, Vice, Shadow Lich, Dark Requiem, Exceeds Dragon. Oh, you lucky. Yeah, this card right here would be a fantastic pull for us. Also this. That would be really good. Supply Squad. That would be really good. Because we're going to get our crap destroyed, so it's like, hey, draw one for free. Okay, could have had a better hand, but... They got Hungry Burger. Yeah, Hungry Burger is now part of the Novell archetype. So my question is, when is um when is Crab Turtle gonna be part of Mayakashi? Or not Mayakashi, God no, <laughs> Mayakashi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's gonna be the sushi platter eaten by Gashu Dokuro. No, put him in Crab Turtle in It's not Gishki. Gishki. I was about to say Necroz, but no. Put Crab Turtle in Gishki. And make Javelin beat a wow. Okay, not meta player. I mean, it's not like that would have made a difference. So we got that for free. Yep, Cyber Dark deck. Yeah, let's make another Cyber Dragon deck. I think there was like three. Uh, 
I was honestly shocked to see Fur Hire in Master Duel actually get a deck sleeve. I was surprised, because nobody liked Fur Hire until Runic. Nobody liked them. You can look it up, that's an actual fact. Nobody liked Fur Hires because, like, oh, they're furries, they're furries. And I'm like, Fur Hire, Gladiator Beast, Luna Lights, Fairy Tale, Tri Brigade! Yeah, y'all complained about fur hires while you're playing tri brigades. No, you don't get to say anything. Y'all don't have the right to say anything about that. This guy's gonna be a while. <sighs> now, see, if I had a, uh, it's an old monster that I had as a physical card back when it first released. Kotodama, weird fairy person, looking like. It's a fairy, but if you control it, your opponent cannot summon any monster with another name that you declare. So if you say Cyber Dragon, you can shut down Cyber Dragon entirely. They can't summon Cyber Dragon at all. It is crazy how powerful some of those older cards actually are in the right circumstance. Like, it's nutty. I never even thought of it until now. Like, I saw the card artwork, and I used cards back in the day when I was young, real young. I only picked them because they looked good. I didn't read anything. Which is kind of like now. just to be safe. Make him think we're going full defense. If we actually pulled a deck that was pure defense, like, if we got D2 shield, that would be crazy fun. It's like, yeah, I want you to hit me. I want you to hit me. Until they pull out something with, uh, piercing damage, then and we're like, oops. Or this. Why didn't he attack with the Cyber Dragon Siegler? Rampage off back row. I think. So that's why they didn't attack, because they would take no damage, we would take no damage from it because of it. Yeah, we don't win. Oh well, next fight. Okay, we got just Volt Scrap and Raigeki Bottle. And we're up first. Alright, we got Tribe Shocking Virus, that's actually really good. And we got Goblin Elite Attack Force. And we have a draw power card.
till the end of this turn. Each time a monster we control attacks. Okay, we'll get Gaia out just because he's not going to be that great. That way he's out of our hand. I mean, he's going to be a brick either way. We can't summon it. That's why. That's why we should have done that. Yeah, we'll get rid of Desfold's graph. Or... Might be better if we go with this instead. Each time it destroys an opponent's monster by battle. I mean, if we knew we were going to pull this ahead of time, we would have sent Apocrylyph. Actually, we could literally recycle Apocrylyph by tribute discarding one mo a dragon and then summoning another. It'd be totally stupid, but we could do it. Aw, you're no fun. Who on you? That's their second back row card, so that's probably a spell. They can't activate it. And it wasn't a quick play spell either. Marmiting Captain? Rush recklessly. Can't be a starter deck unless they're a masochist. It's like anybody playing any random card, are they a masochist? Kind of feels that way at times. We'll probably go with Goblin Elite Attack Force. Now, this destroys all monsters, but if we still had Vernisil for the Thawing Mountains, we could set it up in two turns. Because we can only give it a counter if we declare an attack. Okay, we can get two attacks this turn. Okay, do you have a counter? They've got something they're thinking. What are you planning? Reinforcements. Oh, if only that was the only monster I was going to summon. Oh, if only you knew. But hey, props for having an OG card. Besides, we could just reveal... Well, we can't do that anymore. <laughs> it's like, we can just reveal immediately plays the card that I was about to say. And that face down's a spell, so we're good on... We're in the clear for that. And this will go into defense, plus you can't be destroyed by that. Well, you can be, but... Probably best if we hold off on that. I mean, technically, we could use Apocrylyph, link, rank it away into King of Feral Imps, use it as the discard material to activate its effect to get Abunisia. Well, that's a problem. 
speaking of that plan, we may have to go through with that. But he's probably going to use the effect to get rid of our Raigeki bottle. Yep. He's going to get rid of Raigeki bottle. But the only thing he can take out is Elite Attack Force. We don't have enough attack points in order to win. Hmm. We might. Pitch that. Add Des Bolt's graph. Link these two away. King of Feral Imps. Activate effect. Send Despot, or not Despot's graph, to add Abunicia to hand. Activate World Legacy Guard Dragon. Bring back Despot's graph. It's not enough to end, but. They are in a bit of a pickle next turn. Now, there is a high chance a Cockrelyph will get destroyed, but, but, there is a chance that we still win. It's very likely unless they pull out some god tier card. Like, hard, they hard of the cards this. Also, I'm sorry, I realized I messed up. I was supposed to have the pack opening at the start of this video, but I didn't. Ooh, Shadal Dragon. That would have been good if you waited to use that. I mean, we can just go for game right here just by banishing Dust Bolt's Graph. Hello. Well, shit, I didn't read it. Well, poo. Remember to read, kids. I thought it was just banish one monster. No, we won last time because we used Apocalypse and the other dragons. That's how we beat that blue eyes. Oh, please use an effect. Please use an effect. Hmm. How strange. Well, since you're kind of dead weight, We still have a card in hand to use Divine Wrath. So we do have that going for us. We can come back. Actually, plus, if they don't send any back row, we win next turn because we can just pay 800 and then attack directly with Gear Golem. It's in the bag. As long as we don't activate the card effect.
I want to see where they're going with this. I kind of want to do this just to BM with the gear golem. I really want to do it. I gotta do it. I'm sorry. I found the idea. I gotta do it. Because we know that won't activate. And we have another card to use this for. I really hope this works. This will be hilarious if it works. pissed. Oh, they're probably pissed off. It's like, I got beat by a derpy little golem! I had to do it, I'm sorry. Let's check their deck. I want to see if they were a masochist too. Um... Possibly. Dark magic attack, shield crush... Five out of Dragon, Twin Burst. Okay, they got Guy of the Dragon Champion. Okay, so those are not bad. And they got Polymerization. So they may have been a Masochist, but they got some good stuff. They got Gaia Knight. They could actually summon that. Savannah.